Hey, he's here now telling us all about his lawsuit against LeBron James and his mother, Gloria Lester. Stovell accuses them of fraud, defamation, and tampering with a DNA paternity test. Lester, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Let me start first by setting the, 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 the framework here for, for who you are. I mean, you are a Princeton graduate. You went to the University of Chicago Law School. You worked for the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission. So you're not, a, you're not a dumb guy. You're a bright guy, right, Lester? Well, I would say so. Yeah, I, I was, I'm impressed by it. So here's the, here's the initial reaction everyone's having to this, okay? You're suing LeBron and his mom to prove that you're the dad, but you're asking for millions of dollars. Why does being LeBron's dad entitle you to millions of dollars? Well, it's, it's really just the way the law is set up. And uh, when one makes allegations of wrongdoing, uh, there uh, generally are harms that flow from that. Uh, the harms can be both legal, as it's called, or equitable. In this case, I've alleged both. And uh, Do you really want money from what, LeBron, or do you want him to say, hey, Dad? Uh, what you're uh, asking, I guess, is uh, would I like to have a... Uh, a carefully structured and secure DNA test so that we can first so that we first can establish whether a father-son relationship exists and, and that's what that's what you that. want all right let's let's go through some of this lawsuit because I found it absolutely fascinating some of the details that you put in here uh, and and we begin with uh, how you met uh, Gloria James according to your lawsuit uh, in or about mid-march 1984 I met defendant Gloria James at a restaurant bar named D.C. space, very famous place down in D.C. I was 29 years old. Later that evening, Gloria James accompanied me to my home. She told me she was in her early 20s, that she was a virgin, and made clear she wanted to end that status. Later that night, I apologized to defendant Gloria James because I, being tired, thought I might not have satisfied her. All right, let's begin uh, first there where you establish what happened. A lot of details, and that last detail, some would say maybe a little TMI, Lester, a little too much information about that night. Uh, it seems you remember a lot of specifics about what happened. Uh, yeah, I think it might be uh, just the way the memory resurfaced. Uh, uh, it, it resurfaced after 20 or more years after I was asked uh, uh, whether I had a son and, and, and then systematically uh, explored all of uh, my past uh, for uh, that possibility, uh, I came across the, this set of recollections and uh, in focusing on them, they amplified. All right, let's, let's go to more of what you outline in your lawsuit here. You say, a few months later, in or about June of 84, I again encountered defendant Gloria James at my apartment. She informed me she was pregnant. She said, I'm going to name him LeBron. Defendant Gloria James never specifically said, I was the father. I said, well, if he's mine, make sure he plays basketball. She limited her response to the words, I will. And then you write, incredibly, I then said, LeBron James, a basketball player from Ohio. That should be easy to remember. You, you took a DNA test, right? You, you took a paternity yes, test, and did. it came back and said 0% chance of paternity. But you're not trusting the results? Uh, no, I'm not, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think that the test was uh, designed to be tamper-proof, as it should have been under the circumstances. So, uh, well, it's one thing to be not be tamper-proof. It's another thing to actually be tampered with. So you think there's a, a conspiracy by LeBron James and his mom to make sure that no father ever emerges into his life? Well, I've said that there's been uh, that there was an opportunity since it was not designed to be tamper-proof, and there are indications that there was a motivation. All right, how tall are you? Because LeBron is what six foot I'm, eight, about two hundred fifty pounds. Uh, yeah, uh, we're approximately the same height. Really? Okay. All right. Well, you know, uh, but there was a test, and, and you're just not trusting the results of that test.